Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning, and I'm at Morro Rock, the Gibraltar of the Pacific. Morro Rock is a huge landmark on the central California coast, standing over 170 meters above the level of the sea. This giant monolith is a piece of volcanic rock seemingly jutting up randomly out of the ocean. So what is this giant rock, and what's it doing out here in the water? Morro Rock is what's called a volcanic plug. So somewhere between 23 and 28 million years ago, it was at the center of a volcano. Now the rock that makes up Morro Rock today is not erupted lava material. This is magmatic intrusive rock called a hip abyssal rock. This rock crystallized from magma near the surface inside the base of the volcano that it was feeding. And these volcanic plugs are common throughout the world in old volcanic areas. It's part of actually a chain of old volcanoes in this area called the Seven Sisters, which stretches from here past San Luis Obispo to a peak called Isle Hill. So Morro Rock, as a volcanic plug, is made of a rock called dacite, which has its silica content ranging from between 63 and 69 percent, which makes it an intermediate volcanic rock. And we know from looking at the crystals that it crystallized at a shallow depth because there's large crystals and a relatively fine and hard to see ground mass of crystals. The rock is very beautiful, but it is also very hard. And it was used for quarrying to make the breakwaters which now line the sides of the mouth of Morro Bay. What I'm standing on now was historically in the water. As long as Morro Rock has been visited by humans, which is at least 9,000 years, the entrance to the bay routinely switched between the side of the rocks. So the mouth of the bay would frequently change sides until a big causeway was built, which is where I'm standing now, and which is where the parking lot for the State Park and State Beach are today. Now the age of these rocks between 23 and 28 million years ago, as I said, correlates interestingly with the onset of San Andreas fault motion. This whole chain of volcanoes was probably oriented roughly north to south when they erupted originally, but now they've rotated 40 to 50 degrees away from that counterclockwise. And this is part of a result of the complicated tectonics going on in the central California coast region, in which the San Andreas Fault has rotated and pushed upwards a large section of California crust. Other rocks in Morro Bay are part of what's called the Franciscan Complex, which is a large melange of rocks. That's a French word meaning menagerie, basically, which is a diverse assemblage of rocks which was originally an accretionary wedge from a subduction zone that used to exist off the coast here. This subduction zone was caused by the Farallon Plate, which is now nearly completely subducted and exists deep within the interior of the Earth. But this accretionary wedge, or melange, called the Franciscan Complex, dates from between 20 and around 30 million years total, and contains a wide variety of rocks and rock types, and forms most of the mountains around here, including the dramatic Santa Lucia Mountains of Big Sur. Morro Rock has been an important cultural symbol for thousands of years, starting with the ancient Chumash people, and extending through the Spaniards, and now the modern-day citizens of Morro Bay highly value this irreplaceable piece of the California coast. This has been Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning. Thank you very much for watching.